Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just want to make you all aware that a brand new Hooked show has been uh, released, the Hooked podcast. As you guys know, I started a new podcast over on a different channel, and we just did an episode with Turkey Tom, so be sure to check that out. Also, a new members video on Hassan will be dropping later today. I'm going to really be trying to, you know, get some more work done on the on the premium content there for the members. Uh, spilled milk should be coming out tomorrow. So lots to look forward to. Anyway, let's get on with the clip. I wanted to cover this on Monday and now it's Saturday, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Better late than never. All right. Listen, it's been a, it's been a strange week. All right. That's all I'm what? saying. Let's take a look at this shit right here. I'm going to bump this up. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are talking about NFTs. If you guys are unfamiliar with NFTs, you've probably heard it in the news. Non-fungible tokens are basically like pieces of art on the- Alright, NFT culture, cancer. Alright, first of all, why is every NFT this stupid fucking monkey, dude? Uh, these look like they were drawn- I, 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 I hate the style, alright? The art on it, not bad, but the style is just fucking cancer. And then you've got people who own these NFTs, not for the purpose of reselling them to make a shitload of money, but they buy these NFTs just to have them. And then they defend it on Twitter. Now, granted, a lot of the NFT cringe on Twitter is bait. It's not real, but a lot of it's also real, all right? Me and F NFTs are funny. Yeah, those are funny, but I'm talking about, like, real, unironic NFTs. I, I hate these. I fucking hate these, dude. GP through to Aki, my evag is... Is reserved for you and only you. Okay, thanks, buddy. Good one. Blockchain, people buy and sell them. There's been some crazy GD stories. People have bought NFTs for next to nothing, and sold them for hundreds of thousands, if not millions. It's crazy. People face. think it's a money laundering scheme. Some people love NFTs. Whatever your opinion, comment down below what you think. But whatever your opinion, you know, it's your own opinion. Doesn't really matter. Isn't like you're trying to push it on other people, even though you think it's a scam. Because who would do that? Who would do such a thing? Outright call something a scam, a pyramid scheme, something that they hate, and then, I don't know, two days later, say, push it on their audience and sell to them. Well, Destiny, of all people, Destiny. The By the way, this crossover right here, Kava and destiny is not something i expected person who reaches values consistency of values has outright been caught out as a hypocrite by himself he just did it on his own all because of nfts now this was what he as a friend told me nfts are digital snake oil what okay nfts i would argue nfts are a scam not in the sense that there's something wrong with them I would just argue owning an NFT is completely useless. But just because something is useless doesn't mean that it's a scam. So I'm curious, like, why do people think NFTs, like, are, like, where do people draw the scam from? Because if people think NFTs are shit, that's different, all right? People say it's a scam. I, from what I've seen, all right, you can make a lot of money on NFTs. And, I mean, I would never own one, but uh, I, I don't know if they're a scam. I'm sure some are, but the whole thing, like... The, I, the concept of an NFT is a scam. That's different than saying it's shit. He initially said, and his take on NFTs about five, four or five days ago. Every single person on the internet, every single person on the internet, okay, that is pushing NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. That's it. That's all yeah. it is. Every one of them. Basically scammer. I consider all of the crypto is too, man. There's people who never stop tweeting about crypto. Yeah, I know, but like, I, like dump it. I wish there was like a big macro. There needs to be a macro accounting of human behavior because we all grow up making fun of certain people, and then we all grow up and we do that behavior, right? When I grew up, people made fun of motherfuckers that sold Avon, Mary Kay, yeah. uh, Amway. But like, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> NF NF okay, so the big meme here is that Destiny's calling NFT scam. Three days later, he starts selling NFTs because of a sponsorship. Here's the deal, right? Um. You. This happens all the time with YouTubers and people, uh, and and streamers, right? When we first joined the internet, we always say, we always like have these like, you know, sort of like made up lists of like principles that we are, say we're always going to subscribe to. And then down the line, you know, we, we end up, you know, changing our minds a little bit, right? So for instance, when I first joined the internet or, or, or when I first uh, went on Twitter, one thing I was like was uh, I'm never going to block anybody on Twitter because blocking is immoral, all right? And as a free speech warrior, which I mean, I still am. But as somebody who likes free speech, blocking people is inherently hypocritical and wrong. Obviously, nowadays, I no longer believe that. There is obviously a difference between blocking somebody on your Twitter account 
versus taking away their rights to, you know, speech or even their rights to Twitter as a whole, right? There's obviously a difference between that. It's not hypocritical to be pro free speech and block somebody on Twitter. That's just like a small example of a position I previously had that I now change. Turkey Tom, he used to be anti YouTube sponsorships. Then the next month he's our it's second like sponsor, so right? There's nothing inherently wrong just about having a position and then changing your mind later so on. You it just looks bad when you have a, when you have a position it's just that a deep, copy of and then you change your mind just a few days later. Like I'd over time, obviously you're going to change your mind on a lot of things. But like to change your mind on something so concrete just a few days later, you know, the sooner you do it, and the more extreme the example is, the worse you end up looking. So that's really what happened to Destiny here, right? I'm sure you know. I'm. You could probably find clips of me saying stuff like, "I'll never take a YouTube sponsor." I would absolutely take a sponsor in a heartbeat, as long as it wasn't a scam, and I could verify that. It, NFTs are the Zoomers Avon. That's all it is, bro. Like, it's the exact same shit. Yeah, you're buying some worthless fucking shit with the hopes you can- Destiny looks pretty bad here, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I think Destiny took the L on this one. I'm not about to defend Destiny here, but uh, I'm just explaining like how the- I'm basically just explaining how this always happens, right? Basically just hypocrisy in general. Because everybody always opens their- Everybody has a mass- Everybody has a really big mouth. They're like, I'm never gonna do this, or I'm always gonna be, be like this. And then later down the line- it's a little bit different. It just depends on what you're changing your mind on and how concrete you previously held your old position on it was. You can pawn it off on some other loser in the future who thinks they can pawn it off on somebody else. It's all fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. That's what it is. What you, it's not a pyramid scheme. What do you say that people actually buy for their artistic value? Yeah, I mean, so clearly Destiny is fully against NFTs. Talks about people making fun of things and then doing the thing they're making fun of. Because we all grow up making fun of certain people. And then we all grow up and we do that behavior, right? Self-awareness levels are an all-time low for Destiny because only two days after that whole spiel on how NFTs are a scam, basically, pyramid scheme, he decides to promote this scam onto his audience. Because why not? I think that the... I Dia behind this is you can basically buy and sell, or you can buy and sell like Twitch clips and you can <laughs> NFT that Dude, you can get so autographed bad. by the streamer who the clip is of. Oh my god, did you know that? And 10% of the revenue goes to the streamer, okay? Now, there are some legendary Twitch clips out there, okay? Legendary Twitch clips out there of mine that I bet you want me to autograph. And you know what? If you buy it, I can go right up here and click autograph and I can sign whatever NFT you want me to sign, okay? Oh my god. It could be the Dan Litterbox clip. It could be a clip about one of my two Kyle friends. Um, <clears throat> is this site you talked talking about on Miska Stream? No, that was a different site that didn't do things the right way like these guys did. Okay. What happened to NFTs being a pyramid scheme and basically a scam? Every single person on the internet, okay, that is pushing NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. That's it. That's all yeah. it is. To be honest, you know, if you didn't say it was all a scam or something uh, or is a pyramid scheme, he'd probably be not hypocritical here. He's just admitting to like, you know, owning his audience like, oh, everyone who promotes an entity is looking for a bigger sucker to sell. That's I mean, that's true. He's just mask off about it. He's mask off about it both. He's mask off in the sense where he's like, fuck NFTs are all shit. But also I'll take I'll take the fucking sponsor anyway. Who cares? Flamenco had a really good meme of this, dude. He probably stole it from somewhere else. I don't know if he made it. Or if you did make it, this is probably his best video. But, uh, uh, dude, it's so, it's, it's, it's so funny. Every single person on the internet, every single person on the internet, okay, that is pushing NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. That's it. That's all yeah. it is. Every one of them. I think that the idea <laughs> behind this is you can basically buy and sell, or you can buy and sell, like, Twitch clips, and you get an NFT that you can get autographed by the streamer who the clip is of. Oh, my God. You better believe I'm fucking taking mine, all right? With all the other trash fucking streamers on this fucking website doing all these crazy fucking sponsors, fuck that shit, dude. 90% of the just chatting section is people watching fucking paid TV, okay? Half the shit that goes on here is fucking illegal. You better believe I'm trying to cash the fuck out, all right? I don't give a fuck, all right? There you go. At, clip that one. Suck my dick, okay? What do you want? That I should starve? You want me to starve, don't you? Yeah. Nice. Anyway. The clips and you get an NFT that you can get autographed by the streamer. Now you've got a brand deal and you're fucking promoting NFTs to your fans after saying how much you hated them and don't like them and basically how it's someone trying to sucker someone else. So what are you doing in this clip because of a brand deal trying to sucker your whole audience? The website he's promoting ironically is a website where you can buy and sell Twitch clips as NFTs. Someone should use the clip of him saying how much he hates NFTs. Every single person on the internet. That's actually... <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a good point. Okay, that is pushing NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. That's it. That's all yeah. it is. And mint that shit, because that would be hilarious. Get him to sign that autograph, whatever the fuck it is. It's not even like you're promoting a good- Honestly, at this point, he might as well. Like, everybody was mad at him for this, right? Lefties were mad at him. Obviously, conservatives were owning him. Uh, his own fan base was molding. Uh, his, you know, his rivals on Twitch, I'm sure they were having a- I think Hassan was laughing at him. Like, everybody's laughing at him. He might as well just fucking do it at this point, right?
the NFT website. This has literally no value. What you're this is Reddit spurking out. Actually, yeah, they were, and um, he was uh, he was talking about it here. Let, let's just go to the clip or something, right? But yeah, later on in this video, they talk about how his Reddit was turning on him or something. To buy a big ass house, let him buy a big ass house. Anything can do it. That's fine. But I think it's a little funny when a guy spends his whole life shitting on somebody like Bezos and then signs an exclusive contract with Bezos so that he can make millions of dollars, go and buy million dollar mansions. That's funny to me. Also. The thing is, there's like, there's a discussion to be had about it, maybe, who cares really that much, but there are so many bad arguments that are thrown out on all sides of it, like, one is that like, it's LA, dude, $3 million is an average house, shut the fuck up, okay? His house isn't even that big, it was like 4,000 square feet, the, the lot is like 6,000, it's a decent sized house, okay? He has to have a place to put his mom, <laughs> bro, she has to live in West Hollywood, my mom literally said, honey, if we don't live in West Hollywood, I'm gonna fucking hate you, there's so many dog shit arguments being thrown out. That clip, he so he's shitting on Hassan for being inconsistent in his values now because of the NFT thing, people are saying that he's inconsistent in his values, right? While the two aren't, I would argue, aren't of equal comparison, the thing that fucks Destiny over is he's given an own to Hassan every time he criticizes Hassan now for being a hypocrite. Hassan will just be like, okay, NFTs are scams, take sponsor three days later. Like, that's all Hassan has to say. It's not going to crush Destiny's arguments or anything uh, single-handedly, but it's just going to give Hassan that little W to feed to his audience that are going to eat that shit up and then shit on Destiny or something. It's just unnecessary, right? Like, Realistically, what he should have done is just not be, I guess, not be honest about his take on NFTs and then take a sponsor three days later or just ignore the sponsor. Sad but his take is like, look, member. I think I'm going to get banned, so I'm just taking all the money I can before I'm gone, which is interesting. I don't think Destiny will get banned. Um, but if he's sure of it, that almost leads me to think that, and this is where I'm going to go a little bit to conspiracy with it. If Destiny thinks he's about to get banned, that leads me to believe that somebody kind of, you know, tipped him off, uh, you know, tapped him on the shoulder and told him like, hey, buddy, your time's almost up. And he was like, oh, OK. So that's why he's going nuts with the sponsors. I'm not saying that's true. I'm not even saying that that could be true. That's just what it reads off to me. Right. So his logic is like, OK, well, I'm just going to take a bunch of sponsors and squeeze as much money as I can before it's too late. So which is smart. But when you have clips like this, I mean, you're just going to get owned. There's really no way, two ways about it. And then uh, XTC jumps in here and shows a DM. Just FYI, every, this is from like two weeks or like a week before he took the sponsor. Just FYI, every single person promoting NFTs is just some fat loser fuck trying to get rich, flipping them to other people. So, yeah, any of his audience that buys that shit is just fat loser fucks. And then, of course, people were bitching about it on uh, on his Reddit. Um, Devil's Advocate, he's made his position clear and told his audience to not buy NFTs. So why wouldn't he take free money from an NFT company? Waste their money trying to persuade an audience that will never buy their product. Sure, it's scummy, especially if some of his audience buys it in because, uh, because of it. But it's also kind of big brain. Well, it would be if he wasn't permabanding discourse on it. That kind of makes it seem like he's just a greedy asshole. Which is all well and good, but some people are only going to see the second clip and not the first one, right? So he's kind of admitting to using his audience there. Then, of course, he was mass banning people on his website, uh, which is, I mean, anybody who watches Essie knows that it's not uncommon. Uh, and then, of course, there was people posting about it on his Discord server, also promoting people in the sub who criticize him for it. I just got banned in the last hour. I got perma banned for saying scamming Arc Pog. And then we got this post right here, all right? Now, this is some parasocial cringe. Not as parasocially cringe as what we just read, but this is cringe nonetheless. Disappointment post about Destiny promoting NFTs. Man, what the hell? I'm honestly super disappointed right now that Destiny would promote NFTs on a stream. I've been around for a few years now. One of the things that really brought me to Destiny was his consistency in his values. Seeing now they stoop so low and literally promoted NFTs, which he called a scam a couple days ago, is ultra fucked and is really just surprising. What happened to living up to your values? For so long, he has rightfully criticized internet socialists for not living up to what they believe in, and now he's been doing and now he's doing the exact same thing he's railed against for so long. It really seems like he's abandoned everything he's done that's separated him from other streamers, like how he handled gambling sponsorships, and instead he's given in to what the other streamers obsess over, fucking money. Just so weird to see him completely try and rip off his uh, own community. Honestly, it just caught me off guard, man. Okay, that wasn't as cringe as I remember. Maybe there's another post I was sort of like transcribing memories from. It's still a little bit cringe because it's like, look, all right, you're disappointed in your internet superstar or whatever. Get used to it. 
all these guys suck. And in fact, I'm probably going to disappoint y'all uh, in ways too. I just don't know yet. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, look, you should never be disappointed in somebody watching the internet as if these are people that you are close to and that you hold to that level of regard where you actually care. Try to stay away from that shit because it's just pointless to get that invested into a streamer that doesn't know you or gives a fuck about you, really, as an individual. You disappoint us every day. Yeah, but you guys are used to it, so it's whatever. The real thing that would make Destiny, like, unredeemable is if he launched YouTube memberships, promised a podcast, and then never delivered. I mean, at that point, it's like, okay, there's really... You're allowed to be parasocially upset at that point, but... Luckily, he hasn't done anything as terrible as that just yet. So, anyway. Point is, end of story. Um, is Destiny a hypocrite? Yeah, probably. Is it as bad as the hypocrisy he criticizes us on for? I don't think so. But it was totally unnecessary, and he kind of has to take an L on that. Like, he literally has to. Like, I don't really think there's any way he can argue that he doesn't take an L. He can try to minimize damage, but... I mean, there's just no no two ways about it. So there you guys go. Just throwing it out there. <laughs>